Hey, what's up everybody? Clint here and uh, recently I did a video called Three Mac Tips That Will Change Your Life and that video was very popular and it seemed to help a lot of you. And so I thought I'd do a couple more videos along that same line and today we're gonna look at an app on your Mac that's already there that you may not realize just how powerful it is. It's underestimated and it is overlooked and that app is called Preview, yep. That little old app that opens when you open a PDF or a picture. We're gonna look at the three best features that transform my workflow, and I think, I think you will find it helpful as well. Preview is one of those apps that you don't really realize how much it can do. It automatically opens every now and then when you open a certain type of file and you look at it and then you close it. But what are you missing in this app? So let's go ahead and jump right into the three greatest features of Preview that you are probably not using. Maybe you are, I don't know. And by the way, if you missed that last video, the three Mac tips that would change your life, it's linked down in the description. Also, I would love it if you find this helpful to like the video and also hit subscribe so that you'll be aware of all the other videos that come out after this. And first up is the scan to iPhone feature. If you have an iPhone that's connected to the same Apple ID that your Mac is, you can actually use your phone to scan documents and photos into the computer using Preview. So first, start by opening up Preview. Then go to File and Import from iPhone. You'll see two options, Take Photo and Scan Documents. The Take Photo feature is super cool. Select that and your iPhone magically becomes a camera for your computer. And when you take a picture, it magically sends it to the Mac. Save it as a JPEG, you can export it as a PDF, you can do whatever you want with it. Now I'm not sure how useful this Take Photo feature is, but the scan document option is super helpful. If you have receipts or a form you need to fill out or something like that that you need to send digitally, you can click the scan document. Your phone becomes a document scanner. You can scan multiple documents. You can adjust the corners of it and then save it and it magically goes to your Mac. And it's open in preview and then you can do whatever you want with it. You can add text, you can sign it. More on that in a minute. You can do whatever you need and then export it as a JPEG or a PDF and send it on its way. Next up is the signature feature. Now it's 2022 and we do not own a printer here. I refuse to buy a printer. Printers are so 2020. But sometimes I have a document I need to sign and send it back to someone through email or something like that. And since I don't have a printer, I don't have a way to print that document, sign it, rescan it, and send it on. But why would I do all that when I can do it right there in Preview? To add your signature in Preview, open Preview, click on the Markup Toolbar icon to show all of the markup tools, look for the icon that shows the signature and click it to drop down. This shows you all of your signatures that you have stored in there. Now you can store more than one. As you can see here, I have one that says subscribe. So if you like this video, I'd love it if you would subscribe. But I also, down in the list, I'm not gonna show it, I have my wife's signature too, so that I can sign for both of us if we need to send a document that requires both of our signatures. To create a new signature, click Create Signature. Now you have three options in here that are really cool. You can choose trackpad, camera, or iPhone. If you choose to use trackpad, you can use your finger to create your signature on your trackpad and save it and use it at any time in the future. If you select camera, and you can actually take a picture of your signature on a piece of paper. Now the other option, iPhone, turns your iPhone into a signature pad where you can create your signature with your finger, save it and it goes right there and is saved in preview to use at any time. I use this all the time to sign PDFs all you have to do is click the signature icon, select the signature you want, it drops into your PDF document, you can move it, resize it, place it exactly where you want, and then you can export as PDF. And this final feature I wanna share is my personal favorite, I use it all the time, and that is being able to merge multiple documents 
into one and create one PDF. There are times when I have multiple PDFs and I may want to merge them into one. I use this a lot to merge multiple chord chart PDFs together when I'm playing guitar for church. First, open up the first PDF that you want so that it opens in preview. Be sure to click the sidebar icon and choose thumbnails so that you can see all the pages and all the documents on the left. And then drag whatever other PDFs you want into the sidebar. I like to use the three finger drag. Drop them into the sidebar on the thumbnails and you'll see them all become one document with all of the pages there. Then you can mark it up, you can do whatever you need to, you can add your signature, and then go to file, export as PDF, and it will export all as one PDF. You can send it to whoever you need to send it to. You can print it. You can send it to a device so you can use, for instance, an iPad as your music stand. You can use it however you wish. By the way, you may have noticed that three finger drag I did. If you want to learn how to do that and other Mac tips that will change your life, check out this video right here. Good. Hey, thanks. Thanks for watching.